Hey guys, I'm back with a um, Blame It On George video. I posted about five or six thus far and they all seem to get like a couple hundred views at least, which is obviously far more than I normally get. So, obviously you guys enjoy them. So, with that being said, I'm going to be doing more of these if I can. I know a lot, a lot of them are lengthy, so and I actually have a bunch that are suggested still in the key or whatever you want to call this them. This one is called A Bizarre Lost Kid Show, The Search for Pink Morning Cartoon, Blame It on George. So I believe I haven't reacted to this yet. Let me just check my YouTube just to make sure I haven't because I do not want to react to this again. So blame it on... You guys can skip ahead because obviously if this video is up, then obviously I didn't react to it, but I just want to make sure. Of course I spelled it wrong, now I'm going to do it all over again. Anyway, but it's about 20 minutes long, so it should be pretty interesting. Nope, it's not here. A Bizarre Lost Kids Show. Nope, the only thing I have, have, have here bizarre is 11 bizarre and terrifying early versions of famous characters. Alright, so no, I haven't read this yet. I thought like the title was kind of the same as something else, maybe, or something that I th 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 thought of. I have no idea. But this is the first time in about over three months that I'm watching a Blue and Georgia video, so again, sorry for the delay. Because I know this was suggested a while ago. And there also was another video by Blue and Georgia. It's about an hour long now, so... I'm totally gonna fall fall asleep to that, even if I do it in parts and I wanna do it all together. So I don't know, we'll see what happens with that one, but this is for the search for a morning pink morning cartoon, and it's a lost kids show. So let's go guys. This, this video, video is brought, brought to you by, by Hunt a Killer. If you're like me who enjoys a good game night with the boys, then Hunt a Killer is a product for you. Hunt a Killer is a murder mystery box with yeah. a story that's told yeah. over the course of I don't, six I don't episodes. Care about these. <laughs> You'll be given clues, physical items and details about a true crime case and its suspects to see if you have what it takes to solve the mystery. Personally, I love puzzle games and detective shows like Sherlock or Death Note, and I've never seen a board game that encapsulates that thrill of solving a mystery like this one. And if you're a solo detective or prefer to play with friends for a fun game night, this game can appeal to everyone. Each box starts at $25, but by using my discount code Jorge, you can get 20% off your first box. Plus a portion of proceeds from every box goes to the Cold Case Foundation, an organization involved in real-life cold cases. Again, click the link in the description below and use the code Jorge, that's J-O-R-G-E, to get started on solving your first mystery. Uh, he Thanks again to Hunter for sponsoring this video. George, isn't it? Alright, now let's get into this video. Now, like, his videos are like more so like finding lost things, I believe, or like bizarre, kind of weird. Stuff like that, that I noticed so far. Pink morning cartoon. By the way, let me know if you guys like these lights or not. An obscure missing kid show known as the Pink Morning Cartoon. At the time, there was very little known about the show, besides a few online threads and discussions. Okay. From the few clips that were available online, I found the series to be pretty unsettling, but also fascinating. And yeah, apparently, kind of I wasn't alone. A dedicated search team formed from the heels of that video in order to hopefully track down more information and episodes from yes, I remember saying a little pink morning media. cartoon, I do remember something about that. So today, we'll be diving down this rabbit hole to see what was uncovered. Hmm. This is the search for the pink morning cartoon. Alright. Interesting. PMC search team for compiling this information for me. In this video, I will try to encompass what was given to me, as well as my own research. I was invited to their Discord a few times, and while I'd love to join, I'm always afraid I might derail the search with my presence. I always think it's best just to leave the investigators do their thing. Mm, that's fair. Also, I'll be going off of the information from my last video, and, uh, so check that out if you're not up to speed. The Nickelodeon movie that but one. To that that I remember that one on too. April 3rd, 2020, a post was made on the obscure media subreddit by a user known as Rubbed Lung about an anonymous Rubbed bizarre Lung. public access morning kids show, later to be known as Pink Morning Cartoon. Hmm. Let's have a look. This first video seems to be a clip taken from one of their episodes. We see a family entering a hat room before the hats begin to move and sing. Oh, it seems really unsettling and creepy. Very cre creepy vibes. Obviously it was 1990 because the quality is terrible. Johnny, Johnny, Johnny. 
That's very... Really, really creepy. Very annoying, to be honest. They're very unsettling and annoying, if you ask me. Even as a kid, I don't, I don't think I would like this at all. Of course, I can't say that because I'm an adult now, but I feel like I would not like that at all. The second clip is titled using a bunch of question marks and is only a shorter, lower quality version of the first yeah, clip this, we saw. This looks very bad. So we'll just skip it. By far, the most well-known clip from the Pink Morning cartoon is this final one, featuring a song known as Everything's Coming Up Spring. Hmm. This one isn't as bad as the other, uh, it's alright, I guess. That part's kind of annoying. You can see flowers growing on trees. Spring, of course, makes sense. That wasn't horrible. The I mean, only small could, could bit of information available was from what little online discussion there was. And from the uploader of these clips, Jankum Chick, he claimed that he would see the show play in the early mornings yeah, of the 90s and 2000s. On Reddit, user Rub Long stated that the show aired in Columbus, Ohio, and that it was a homemade religious show for children. Some users from the Lost Media Wiki believe that the most likely channels the show aired on were Channel 2 or Channel 53. Hmm. Besides that, no one seemed to know anything else about the show. There were no names attached to the program, no information about that creepy song. We didn't even know its official name. Pink Morning Cartoon is simply what everyone referred to it as. That was not the official name. It even. became a mystery, and for a while, it remained a mystery. It's weird to know, but just the show is made with like no credits at the end. Like normally it has like some kind of, you know, hoax claims. I remember I thought it was pronounced like Hoax. Certainly these clips are pretty unsettling, but also somewhat fascinating. I think this cool low quality thing just making like, my head hurt. Like it's the just fact that they were uploaded didn't actually hurt before the Reddit post made me believe like, that it was unlikely to be an ARG or a hoax. However, after my video came out, some people began to think that it was a hoax or constructed by Jankum Chick himself. I thought that could be a possibility, given that the fade in and fade out transitions seemed odd for a video that was supposedly not edited. Yeah, exactly. Furthermore, others questioned how Jankum Chick obtained this footage. So he claimed Jacob? that it was on an old VHS tape that he had, but how exactly? Yeah. Were all three separate clips on a single VHS tape? Or was it originally one episode that Jankum did edit into three separate clips? Mm. Or perhaps they were from three separate VHS tapes? It's possible. No one really knew. Others thought the VHS static and poor so quality creepy. were manufactured or edited in. Well, Finally, I know it's 19. there were inconsistencies within these tapes that others began to take note of. How is it that Jankum Chick had two versions of the hat room scene, one with better quality than the other? Oh, yeah, that's also, definitely really... Also, some of the transitions and scenes didn't match up, and even the audio was slightly off. Yeah, I definitely added it somehow, then. Regardless, people began searching for more information about Pink Morning Cartoon, and much to my surprise, a lot was uncovered. Not really? Oh, let's see. I'm really cur cur curious for this now. Early efforts. Hmm. One of the most captivating things about Pink Morning Cartoon is its song, Everything's Coming Up Spring. So it makes sense that the search began there. Some viewers claimed that the singer's voice sounded like Ron Brown, a ventriloquist from another religious public access show, Joy Junction. Uh, but that could be it though. Oh, it actually sounds kind of, kind of similar. That's right, Marty. You know, 
I was just looking around here. Maybe I'll think of something I can talk yeah. to Jerry's dad about. But I was noticing all these flags here in Georgia. The only problem with this theory is that in 2013, Braun was sentenced to 20 years in prison on Plenty CP rape charges. kill eats children. The whole story is pretty messed up and won't be detailed here. Yeah, I'm just not Needless gonna to say, it. this was pretty much a dead end. Hmm. A YouTube channel called The Inspector posted this comment on the Everything's Coming Up Spring video. I'm pretty sure this isn't from public access, but from a religious satellite broadcast provider known as Sky Angel. Sky Angel. They're defunct now, but they have been going since 1996. And I grew up with all these really obscure, low-budget Christian shows they aired. This was likely one of them. I don't think that's a tip that'll lead anywhere for anyone interested in mysteries, if you're here from Blaming on George. But that's just where I think I saw it. Though I wouldn't be surprised if it was also on public access. Because honestly, Sky Angel original programming did sometimes come from there. Or at least look like it did. Try as I might, it's almost impossible to find most segments, especially from their KISS channel. I'm shocked whenever I find anything at all that's been preserved. Hmm. Later on, a 2002 promo for Sky Angel was found. And it contained a brief image of what appeared to be a show for children. Some wondered if this was perhaps taken from Pink Morning Cartoon. Sky Angel operated a channel known as KTV or Kids and Teen TV, so it made for a good starting point in the search. By looking through KTV's schedule at around the time Pink Morning Cartoon would have supposedly aired, a show known as Critter Time was found. Hmm. Critter Time aired in the early mornings on KTV, and could explain all the animals seen in the Everything's Coming Up Spring video. There However, we go. searchers were also able to dig up the show's description, and it reads, For ages 4 to 11, Jenny K takes children on adventures to visit exotic animals. Also features segments on caring for house pets. This didn't seem to match up with the house room clip. Yeah, it doesn't really... There didn't appear to be a character named Jenny, and there was next to nothing about how to care for house pets. Hmm. In fact, after looking through their archives, none of their shows had a description that matched Pink Morning Cartoon. So, Sky Angel was quickly ruled out. Hmm. I'm not I'm not too sure then. Like what this obviously I don't know anything about this, but I don't know, definitely seems like a mystery. Because around this time there's a Discord group dedicated to finding the Pink Morning cartoon was forming. The team decided to look through various different TV stations in Columbus. One of which being W I N J L P. This station was owned by a person named Ella Flowers, and is known for playing a variety of programs, such as Old public domain movies, old cartoons, kind of religious and current programs. religious programs. What's interesting to know is that an old version of this article from 2005 says, The station is notable for its erratic technical quality, which often imparts a bizarre, disjointed, and surreal texture to its program. Yeah, it seems really like... For whatever reason, this removed. line was removed in future revisions of the article. But Definitely kind of the sus. Team nonetheless. Pink Morning Cartoon could definitely be described as bizarre, disjointed, and having erratic technical quality. Definitely. Jacob Chick himself joined the Discord, adamantly believing in the show's existence. When questioned about how he obtained these clips, Jacob explained that he and his friend, Maria Ork, had a hobby of recording shows and making mixtapes out of them. Okay. Jacob planned on uploading more recordings, but he was out of town for the time being. His friend, however, uploaded this screenshot. Oh, that looks like it would come this from This screenshot is of the credits from one of Pink Morning Cartoon's episodes. Yeah, the, um, everything's kind of coming up straight. It's a little hard to read, but we can see that the music is credited to someone named Ella Flowers. Oh. If you recall, the station W-I-N-J-L-P was owned by Ella Flowers. Ella Some is a pastor man. and a singer-songwriter who actually narrated some of the kids' programming on that channel. But, so, but there was a guy saying like that one, right? Lead. All that was needed to do now was to contact Ella in the hopes of uncovering more episodes. Exactly. If only it were that simple. Searchers were quick to discover an obituary for mm. Ella Flowers online. It notes that she passed away on July 17th, 2017. Hmm. So another de uh, dead end there. And, uh, and like, who is the guy singing it?
the song the everything's coming up spring all that stuff I, I wonder who, who was singing that as previously stated one of the stations Ella owned was WINJ LP so perhaps looking through it would be our best bet probably now yeah. by searching through WINJ LP schedule at around the day and time Pink Morning Cartoon would have aired a cartoon known as Kids Fun Festival stood out with this discovery one of the admins from the Discord team was able to find an archived Columbus Dispatch article from 1999. Okay. The article states, During the day, programming includes Kids Club, a mission for Ella Flowers. Recently she has worked oh, late into the you. night, and sometimes all night, on a cartoon for the show. Toiling at a bank of computers across from a fish tank in her living room, she remembers stories from her childhood and adapts them for Kate and Jeannie Jokers. Huh. Do those names ring a bell to you? Kate and Jeannie Jokers. If you remember, the kids in the Pink Morning cartoon clip are named Kate and Jean. Oh. Oh, hey Katie, yeah. Jean. This not only confirms the validity of this show, but also that the real name of Pink Morning cartoon is actually the TV8 Kids Fun Fest. For whatever hmm. reason, the article called it Kids Club, but the team later learned of its full name. Interesting. Unfortunately, the Central Ohio Association OF Christian Broadcasters, which bought the WING station, now known as WGCT, did not retain any old programming from WINJ. Hmm. Contact. Despite another dead end, the search was at an all-time high. Through Ella's obituary and the archive Columbus Dispatch article, more leads and contact information was gathered. I hate looking at it, just makes me so like, ugh. Kids Fun Festival was close to being found. Contact was made with Ella Flowers' daughter, Angela Francis. Oh, okay. After being shown the Every Day's Coming Up Spring video, Angela said, Yes, that was my mom. Do you know any others? This is wonderful. After being asked if there were any more recordings available, she replied, They've been missing ever since my mother passed, but thank you, it means so much. My mother wrote and did the animation for these as well as the editing. It's called it was too. called the TVA Kids Fun Fest. Unknown amount of episodes. My mom worked constantly on these. My aunt hosted the show, Kids Loved It. My aunt hosted the show, Kids Loved Moreover, It. Moreover, so who was the an singer? interview was conducted with Ellis's granddaughter, Samantha, who joined the Discord server. The interview is quite long, so I'll be showing the most important bits here. Do you think it's likely tapes exist? They definitely do. She had many shelves full of tapes. I know of ten, ten. different ones wow. off the top of my head. My favorite one she kept making for me was The Adventures of Kate and Jean Joker. You have no idea how far we've searched for this thing. Do you know where the tapes, tapes are? are? Unfortunately, when I talked to my mom about an hour ago, she said they were stolen by a cousin. Who was oh planning shit! On selling them, possibly destroyed. And then got trashed and possibly destroyed out of spite by said cousin. They were her pride and joy, and that was a big hurt. Of course. Is Not there a way end. there's a backup? Well, it was the '90s, and I'm pretty sure it would have been on a floppy disk with the original designs and such, and the VHS. That's it. Do you know the cousin who stole the tapes? Yes, but no one has talked to him in a while. I'm not even sure if anyone knows where he is. Of course. Do you remember any of Ella's other shows? All I can remember was The Adventures of Kate and Jean Joker. That was my favorite of hers. And I know she made at least four or five different shorts of full stories of them. Hmm. Interesting. Throughout their conversation, it was clear that the searchers wanted to remain as respectful as possible to Ella's memory. Are you surprised of the major attention towards her grandmother and her show? Yes. You know when you're a kid and you kind of don't expect these things? I just remember as a kid sitting there with her, watching her make them, and laughing and having fun. And now to see this as a big thing and see how people are responding towards her various works brings me exactly. a lot of joy. I just wish she were here to see this herself. It's nice to see her memory carried on. Mm. For sure. Leftovers. As of the writing of this video, that's where the search ends for now. We know the name of the show, the creator of it, Ella Flowers, 
and a rough idea of how many episodes there are. Even though the original tapes were destroyed by one of their family members, hope is not lost. The search team is still in contact with Ella's family, which is a promising lead. They also plan on visiting the church that Ella worked at in hopes of finding archives of the cartoon. Jacob Chick is planning on uploading more recordings in a few months. The Columbus Dispatch article does mention a Christmas special featuring a dancing snowman. This is the only other episode the team knows anything about. If there are any future updates, I'll be sure to let you guys know. I'm not sure what to expect from here on out, but I'm personally extremely proud of the search efforts that have gone into finding the show. It's stuff like this that makes Lost Media such an awesome part of the internet. Until then, I'll catch you guys next time. Take care. Wow. Okay, so definitely really interesting to like see how stuff has been found even like you know because like there was i feel like i would like give up so fast because like if it's like really hard to like uncover something and like you really don't know where to start even then it's like really hard to like go off something right it's kind of like an investigation it's kind of like how do you start if you have no leads if you have no evidence if you have no this if you have no that right so definitely credit to all the, to the pmc team so pick morning cartoon is what they think it was called but it's not called that in, in, anymore I forgot what it was called already, but it's something about a kid, something, so... But, it's definitely really interesting how, like, people were able to, like, uncover some certain things that led to this, and then, of course, that led to dead ends and all that, but... At least now I know the title of the show, The Creator, right? Which, of course, after some digging, you can find out, right? And it's really cool that they got in contact with the daughter or granddaughter, with the family, to, like, figure out more. And it definitely is, like, really interesting, like, how you, like, create your own show, and then it kind of gets so much attention later on, because, like, you want to see what happened with it. You want to see who made it, you want to see the thing behind it, you, you know what I mean? It's pretty cool to actually, like, think about and, like, see, you know? So definitely a really interesting video. And thank you for whoever suggested it. This was obviously a part two of the second one, because I swear to God I remember seeing something about Pink Morning Cartoon before in a previous video. I've done, like, five, five or six uh, Blame and George videos, and now another one. And I'll definitely keep doing them if you guys want me to, because you guys seem to definitely enjoy them. So in that case, I'll definitely continue them. And they are actually pretty interesting to see, so definitely have, have no issues watching them as long as they're not like 20 years long. Which that one is, that one is like 56 minutes long, so I swear I'll, I'll do that one soon, I'll probably spit it in like 20, 20, 20. 20, 40, 60. Yeah, yeah, don't ask, I really had to do 20 times 3 in my fingers, just to make sure, 20, 40, 60. Just to see how many parts I could do, or I could do like 25 and 25 or something, or 26, 26, I don't know, we'll see. But... That's going to be it for this video. Um, if you have any other suggestions by Blame It On George, please let me know on Instagram. If you do not have an Instagram account, please just message me. Please just comment down below saying I don't have, I have an Instagram, and then just let me know the comment or the suggestion. I'll screenshot it, and I'll put it in my phone storage in my folder for suggestions, and then we will get to that when I can get to it. So with that being said, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys did, did enjoy it. Please subscribe if you are new. Please like this video if you liked it, and please comment down below what you guys think happened with the show. Like, what do you guys think um, was, like, the pur purpose of it? Because, like, to me, it just kind of seems, like, really, eh. I don't know. Like, obviously, it was, like, the, a 90s movie or show. Sorry, so. But, like, even in the 90s, I'm trying to, like, think of, like, like I can movies from, like, the 80s and 90s. They weren't that bad quality, so I'm really curious why that was so bad quality, you know? You, you know what I mean? So just because it was the 90s doesn't mean that that's an excuse because like Home Alone, did that have bad quality? No, it was normal quality, you know? It was obviously normal, so. And I'm, and I'm assuming movies even before that, like the 70s, 80s, I don't know when black and white was like gone because I remember stuff was just, just black and white no, and no color. It's crazy to think, wow. But that one obviously had color, so. Not too sure why it was such bad quality and bad ever everything. If it was just one person doing it all, I could understand that. You don't really have like producers or anything like that. If she just made it all herself, then and yeah, it seems like it was weird because like there was like no like credits to in the end of the show. Kind of like saying yeah, like, created by. They normally it says what it's created by, right? Like most things do now, right? So it's just, just kind of definitely kind of peculiar, kind of bizarre, kind of weird. But I definitely want to see if they find anything else. To, uh, find any an, anything more about the show. If they do, I'm definitely gonna watch it. Just let me know, you guys, because of course I'm not really. I don't even know if I'm some subscribed to the way I'm on George. Um, she probably has like a million subscribers, if not more. Let me see how much she has. 1.1 million, yeah. Or 1.19 million, yeah. Definitely fair. Oh, yeah, a lot of his videos are long. 58, 52, 20, 20, yeah. All right. 
How many videos does he have? 94. Interesting. Okay, that's going to be it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Peace out.